My name is Raps, and welcome back to the Salt Fort. Um, if Dark Souls 2 is called the first sin, I am actually the Salt Fort. It's named after me. I am just... I'm not, I'm not handling it well. It's, it's not okay. This New Game Plus stuff is actually, actually difficult. And I'm not used to that. Get off. Don't headshot. Okay. Worked out pretty well. Human effigy. God, I've got a lot of human uh, effigies. I'm pretty proud of that because it means I haven't been dying as much. Uh, now I've just got to die a little less right now. Okay. No. Okay. Got to bait these guys in here. That guy can't even get in here. It's too big. Could I cheese them by having that guy stuck in front? No, never mind. They bring this guy in eventually. Okay. I want it to do its roll attack. Thank you. Unfortunate. These guys do as much damage as the royal swordsmen's up uh, swordsmen's. Yeah, that's nice work, Ryan. Good use of the English language there. As the royal swordsmen upstairs. Okay. Cool. The other one isn't in here yet. Doesn't even look like the other one's aggroed yet. Good. Whoa, what are you trying to do, buddy? Morph with the wall? Okay, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get him to roll into the hole as I had previously hoped. It's a lot more difficult than I eventually... than I must have given it credit for. Ooh, shit. Glad I managed to roll through that. That would have been the end of me. Ring around the rosy. Up. Oh, drop in. Come on. Step forward. Step forward. Damn it. Thank you. I'm actually going to bring this back down here because that's probably more of a hazard for me than it is for the enemy. Just be careful. I want to get the other demon to... Oh, there we go. The demon is aggroed. Just take your time. There's no need to move too fast. Okay. Do a roll attack or something so that you're actually disabled for a few seconds. No, that's that's not going to do. At least it broke my poison, then didn't have the ability to follow up. So I like that. Okay. Come on, flip out. Do something stupid. Thank you. That'll do for something stupid. <clears throat> okay. Now it's just about getting this guy down. Come on. Welcome back. I like that they're always going with the- oh. Oh, it did the flip around attack. I don't like that. 
I was about to say how much I enjoy the fact that it's only holding the scimitar side towards... Excuse me. Pay attention to me, thank you. I'm very insecure. And without your full attention, I might die. Stop doing the fucking flip around attack. You fake me out with it every single time. And then I get hit by the clubs, man. And he does a lot of damage to me. And I don't know his attack pattern as well as I know yours. Fuck it. Buff this just so I can get some more damage in. Oh man, look at that extra 60-ish damage that it gave me. Their defenses are truly incredibly low to the power of my lightning abilities. Come on. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting too greedy. That's what's happening here. I'm trying to go for like three attacks in one. Really paying for it. Nope. Leash back. Leash over here. Thank you. And done. I think there's another one. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure there's another one afterwards as well. Yeah, whatever. Lucatil of Mara. Come along, Lucatil. Just in case there's something I want to pick up out here. No, there is not. So, there definitely are red phantoms here that are going to be problematic. That red phantom just blew itself up and didn't even manage to hurt Lucatil at all. Note, oh, that one did. Nothing in there. Perfect. I'm liking this so far. No more red phantoms, please. Look carefully and then ghost. Oh, gotcha. Small, smooth, and silky stone. Excuse me, Lucatil, could you cut me into the room so that we can leave the room? There's a Hade Knight in there who actually doesn't want to fight me, so I won't fight him. Oh, cool. Come on. Ooh. Kind of want to light that. Oh, God. Fucking red phantoms. Alright. Wait, I don't even have a flame butterfly. How am I going to light this area? We got trouble, boss. Oh, hey, at least it's this flame phantom. Uh, sorry, this red phantom. Because it makes sense for this red phantom to be here. Thanks to the fact that this red phantom is actually a pyromancer. And, of course, the person we are about to kill is the Queen of Isolith. However, she has actually extra people in her fight here in New Game Plus. So focusing them down first is the way that you have to handle it, as far as I'm aware. Radiant life gem. Okay, it's nice, but it's not going to help me that much. Luckily, we've got the staggers on him, so it wasn't that difficult. Okay. No, of course it's not a radiant... I was really hoping it was going to be a uh, butterfly. Flame butterfly. Okay. I failed, but be composure. What? Be wary of bug or woman. Aha, uh -huh, I get it. And the weakness is circling around. Of course. We've already seen this one previously. So we'll skip through it. Okay. Now, I'm waiting for the other pyromancers to appear in this arena. I've never done this on New Game Plus, but I've heard about the other pyromancers in the- Oh my god! Stop fucking killing Lucatil!
Oh god, I hope Luca's heal has the ability to heal somehow. Luca, heal? Oh, not good, not good. Luca's heal got some nice damage in there. Okay, I am going to continually need my sword. And I can't commit to more than one attack. Because evidently, if I commit to more than one attack, I'll just get killed. Oh, there we go. That's some biromancy going on. Oh my god, they're rolling through all my attacks. Whoa, and is Lucatiel dead? No, Lucatiel's still alive. It's just these pyromancers. Uh, one's dead. Did Lucatiel just kill the other pyromancer? Nice work, Lucatiel. Uh, Lucatiel is so dead. Alright, as long as I succeed this fight, it's okay. Well, all of my healing equipment is... Oh, no, no, no! Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, fucking damn it! This fight is abominably difficult. For me, at least. Getting to it is the worst part, actually. <sighs> I really wanted to get her soul, because then you get the old witch's soul and you trade it and you can get a flame weapon, which is a pyromancy that buffs your weapon with fire. I guess it's not essential right now. Maybe I should go through the rest of the game before I come back and start doing New Game Plus stuff. Or maybe I shouldn't have even actually ascended that area. That could be my bad. Fine. Let's go advance Lysia's story. Okay. Lysia isn't here. Excellent. Which means she's in Majula. Yeah, I just lost 20k souls there. It really doesn't matter that much. 20k souls is pretty negligible. I've just got to hope that somehow Luca Teal's story has been advanced without going through the requisite number of fights. Which does sound stupid because it is. Okay. Down here. Hello, Alicia. You've had quite a journey, I can see. The crushed eye stirs. You must have a glorious number of souls by now. What a wonderful feeling that must be. She just doesn't sound like a nice person to me. To cast miracles, you must have strong faith in the gods. Miracles began as tales told by gods. We preserve their will with law. Pray to their greatness and are blessed in return. You must nourish your faith. My faith is actually pretty high. Miracles have been passed down through us since the first flame. Isn't it extraordinary to think they've existed since the very origins of the world? And now, you can have this power for yourself. Don't miss out on the road to enlightenment. So has pyromancy. What is the first... well, it's... <laughs> You're not going to comprehend it, I'm afraid. <laughs> you require more faith. And more miracles. Many more miracles. Why is it all of the vendors of, uh, of miracles are absolute betraying twats? To cast miracles. Do you remember Petrus of Thoroughland? Yeah, I do as well. So the crushed eye stirs while I'm here. Is there any way that I can use it right now? Like... Use! Excellent! Let's use it! Invade the world of a traitor. Come on, finish me off, guilt free. Do it. I like how finished I am. Puzzled me out, have you? I like how she says puzzled me out, have you, but we have no fucking clue what she's actually done yet. Other than, you know, she looks kind of like the nameless usurper. 
And of course, she talks as though she's evil. She's got really low poise, so if you have stuff that can stagger her, constantly stagger her. She's using Wrath of Gods constantly to knock me down. As long as she doesn't heal, yeah, she's fucked. I've never actually done this in this way. The Rotunda Lockstone, Soothing Sunlight, Idol's Chime, and then all of her gear. Returning to my world. I should probably actually check out the lore on that as to what she actually did. I just know that you should kill her. Oh well, at least she's dead. So we've completed Lysia's story. Uh, now we want to go to the Shaded Woods so we can continue... If, of course, she's there. So we can continue the story of the Fair Lady. Where are you? Excellent. Fork Road. Yeah, the, the fairest of all ladies. If I could only remember her name. Well, we're going to continue her story anyway. Lucatiel of Mirage. There we go. God, my brain just doesn't work at times. Creighton's still not there. I don't know what I've got to do for Creighton's. Oh. Horse required ahead. I think this is the one with the King's Gate. Yeah, I think so. No, no, no. Got to go to one-handed so I can thrust. Excellent. Hey, buddy. He's got really high fire resistance right now because he just came out of the water. So we've got to make sure we provoke him constantly into doing the attacks that require him to fall on his back after he finishes them. Don't get hit by that. It's a grab attack. Nope. Landed straight under him. Good work, Ryan. Okay. Managed to polish him off at least. That could have gotten embarrassing. Oh man, while I was in the jeweler, I should have uh, burned the sublime bone dust. That's totally my bad. I'll do that next time I go to Majula. <laughs> Just in case they are scripted to follow you after you walk around them, I don't know. Just decided they needed to die. Okay. Yep. This is. Aldius Keep, produce the symbol of the king. Yes, sir. God, New Game Plus is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Because I remember I used to farm, as I would have said in the episode when I originally did uh, the ascetic area. I used to farm that area. I just used to constantly ascetic, um, well, not that specific area, but, ghost, pull back, try message, be wary of message and then, huh? Um, but yeah, I used to ascetic some of the great souls just so I could kill them again, but, uh, evidently that's not a great strategy anymore. Look carefully, by the way, a gorgeous view. Oh, nice. The door is closing back. Excellent. Okay, so you'll notice there are some odd kind of particle effects going on in the... That's my dragon bone. Excellent. Item ahead. Uh, there's some odd particle effects going on up there. Yep, yeah, it's more of those fuckers that toxic you. So, either snipe them down, or- Ooh, my god, they're petrifying me instead. So, either snipe them down, or kind of have a really good plan to kill them all as they get to you. Poison throwing knife. That actually could have been pretty useful for doing it as well. Alluring skull, and there's a chest up here, which I think is a mimic. Yeah, look at all of these pools of blood in front of it. 
Touch pool of blood. I can't even- I haven't even got the ability to use the prompt of touch pool of blood. Get out of the way. Because it's spring-loaded. You're dead, mother flipper. Malformed skull and the dark mask. Excellent. We've got another piece of the dark equipment. So we've got the dark mask. Do we have the dark chest plate? I'm pretty certain we don't. Just gonna check. Nope. But we do have the dark gauntlets. Yes. It's looking a lot like Christmas. Wait, not Christmas. It's just looking a lot like the, uh, a set that we are very familiar with. From the first game. Okay, Luca Teal, please be in here. Wait, I think I actually just spotted her in there. She is in here! Fuck yes! Who are you? Oh, uh, no, forgive me. I know you. Yes, of course. How goes your journey? Pretty well, thanks. I know not what you seek in this faraway land, but I pray for your safety. Oh man. I like how many of the NPCs are praying for our safety. My name is Luca Teal. I beg of you, remember my name, for I may not myself. I'll remember your name, don't worry, Luca Teal. Except for the fact that I forgot it earlier in this episode. My name is Luca. I beg of you. My. I Damn it! Oh, I haven't completed enough of her things to get her to give me all of her equipment and complete her storyline. Oh. Uh, that's so disheartening. What if I ascetic this area and use her to kill the smelter demon again? It's so difficult to get her through her quest line. It really is. At least for me, I guess. Um, do I have to go for the salt fort? Like, she's summonable for... No Man's Wharf. Where you kill the... Uh, the Flexile Sentry. She's summonable for... The Smelter Demon fight, she's summonable for the Lost Sinner fight. And that's it, isn't it? Is there one more fight that I'm forgetting that she's summonable for? Let's just think of all of the bosses. Hang on. Let's look at the travel map, and I should be able to tell. She's not summonable for anything there, nor there, nor there. Is there, so that's one. No, there's only one boss in this area and she's not summonable for it. No, there's two, actually. The Belfry Gargoyles and the uh, Ruined Sentinels. And she's summonable for only neither of them, actually. Huntsman's Corpse. Uh, no. Not summonable. Harvest Valley. Nope. Earthen Peak. No. Iron Keep, yes. Belfry Soul, no. Shade of Woods, no. Door of Pharos, no. Brightstone, Cove, Seldora, no. Grave of Saints, no. Gutter, no. Black Gulch, I'm pretty certain she's not summonable for. Drang Lake, no. Shrine of Mana. Yeah, no, it's just these ones. So it looks like we kind of just need to run our head up against the wall and try and do this. So I do have like five minutes left in this episode. So I'm going to give this one kind of solid attempt before I give up and end the, end the episode. Instead of combating you here, I'm actually going to draw you out. So then I can draw out your friends. Ooh, Royal Greatsword, nice. Not a bad drop. Excellent. Okay. Solid backstab on one of them. Cool, cool. 
We'll see your head implanted in the platform I'm raising now. I want to try and ease up on my Estus usage because I didn't have enough of those in the fight to get myself through. Which means I also should probably go back and buy some more uh, Radiant Life Gems and stuff. But I'm going to try and make it through with other healing items. Oh man, he's become one with the plank. He's just a little hump out of the back. Oh nice, he dropped an item. Looks like we might even actually be able to clip through it and then pick it up. Yeah. Common fruit. Nice. Okay. Come on. I don't know if you can parry any of this guy's attacks. I'm pretty certain you can't. As far as I can see, there's no reason you would be able to. So I'm obviously not summoning Lucatiel at this point because either she'll go in close range and get herself hit, or she'll try and chase one of the enemies outside of this area and die. Okay, take it slow, Ryan. Take it slow. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, Ryan. Remember that. Holy shit, that attack. No! That was a bad one. That was a bad hit to take. Welcome up, buddy. Come on down. Don't try and go for a second attack. Cannot afford it. See, for the enemies, I rarely actually fight, like, head-to-head. -head. Not actually that good. It's all about memorizing their attack patterns and then dealing with them. Come on. Got a bit of his health down. I'm so tempted to just try and fight it head to head. But then it does stuff like that and shreks me. You know what? I'm going to try and great fireball you and see if I can get any damage. That's not bad damage to be completely honest. Up here. Especially because I know I'm not going to be using Pyromancy against any of the other enemies in this area, so I may as well just get it all out against this guy. Riagra? Oh man, it, sta it staggered him because it hit him in the head. I managed to get a Pyromancy headshot. I thought it was only with actual physical objects like arrows. Okay, so now I need to actually switch back to my weapon. Three. Back again. Finished with your kung fu moves. And this should finish it. Excellent, finito. Buet to full. Summon Luca Teal of Marat. Now, I know there's actually not that many annoying enemies up here, so I can take a fire with me because I don't plan on rolling. I know off to the left here, or is it the right? Yeah. Oh, nice work, Luca Teal. Oh, that's a solid fucking kill. I'm proud of you, Luca Teal. Okay. 
I'm even thinking about trying to summon some people from the, uh... Oh, God. I'm gonna have to kill these guys without defending at all. This is gonna be a little annoying. Lucatiel, don't fall. Don't fall. She has done this before. Oh, my... Oh, my God. They both aggroed on me. They didn't do that last time. They at least gave me the ability to fight them one at a time. No! I managed to get one of them down. This guy had an incredible powerful attack. Okay. Finally. It's all looking pretty good so far. Now I light up these areas so that the actual fight itself is illuminated. Which means that my lock-on will actually work from further away. Okay. And actually, I want to go back here and light up this thing, just because I can. And I think it's actually the last sconce in this area. So it might even summon, like, an NPC that I can fight or something. No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Let's go forward. We could seal. On me. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Let's get my shield out. Get my buff on. And now we can try and wreck her. Using Elizabeth Mushroom, which is going to regen me. Okay. One attack at a time, Ryan. That's where you went wrong last time. Okay, one Pyromancer down. Oh my god. Second Pyromancer down. Oh my god, that was easy. Okay. Managed to block that one in time. Okay, I've got enough time for two attacks when she does that. I wonder if I've got enough time to switch to two-handed and attack. Come on, attack me, not Luke Teal. Okay, this is good so far. I'm trying to trigger her by healing. Because... I think if you heal in a boss fight, they are like... Obligated to attack you or something? I'm not certain about that one. No, no, no! That was almost really bad. Lucatiel survived! On the sliver of health, it's excellent. It's the best day of my life. And I get to prove to you that this was the Witch Queen of Isleth's soul reborn into another character. It's, it's the happiest day of all time. And of course, Immediately after the fight, my controller disconnected. You know what? I'm fine with that. That's the perfect time for that to happen. I didn't want it to happen in the fight. In fact, if it happened in the fight, we would have straight up lost. Right? And I would have been pretty sad about it. But I'm not. Not sad at all. Door ahead, butt dash. Whoop. 
Nope, doesn't work. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, I'm so pleased. Now, just to make sure that I've actually got enough done, I'm going to travel to the Aldia's Keep bonfire, and I'm going to talk to her one more time. Now, we'll know if we're successful if she says, take these or something like that, and then gives me all of her... Excuse me? Uh, that's supposed to be the final location that she sits in. I'm very nervous. I'm really, really nervous because you're supposed to end the story by talking to her there. Oh no. Let's get back to Majula. And we can end the episode by reading the old witch soul. Uh, old Witch Soul, excellent. Once Magnificent Soul continues to exert influence over the land, even after the Aeons have reduced it to these remnants. Soul of the Ineffable. Soul of the Sinai, I don't particularly care about that, so I can use that. I'll level up and I'll burn the Sublime Bone Dust as well, just to end the episode. Talk, level up. I like that being at around 20, so I just decided to go with that. Uh, pump up attunement. That's me an extra slot. Doesn't really increase my car speed that much, though. I think Vigor. I think we need some health. Let's try and increase that health bar just a little bit. And sit down and burn Sublime Bone Dust just to end the episode so I can say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Dark Souls 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.